Is the COVID-19 vaccination the mark of the beast and should Christians take it? Is it the mark of the beast? Is it the number 666? The C19 vaccine is available everywhere and it is even coming to a place of becoming mandatory. But should we as Christians take it? Uh, is it a sin for us to take it? If we do take it, is it the mark of the beast? If we do take it, is it irreversible? Is there no more option left, no more chance left? I want to first of all make clear, I am not a medical expert. This is not medical advice and I'm not here to give any medical advice. I'm here to give a biblical viewpoint regarding this matter. So in no way is this a decision maker for you on a medical point of view on whether you should take the vaccine or not. Click the subscribe button, click the notification button on our YouTube channel, follow us on YouTube, Leon Dupria. If you're watching this on any other channel, go to YouTube, go to Leon Dupria, follow our channel and we are very interested videos on there focusing on the prophetic and deliverance and many other areas in our ministry but let's get into about six things that i believe we need to consider that number one if you believe and you're a believer that believes in the rapture i am somebody that holds fast to the viewpoint of a pre-tribulation rapture meaning that we as believers we will not be going through tribulation but we'll be raptured just before that i believe that happens in revelation chapter number four onwards if you believe in the rapture you don't even have to worry about the mark of the beast because it's not here. The mark of the beast is only playing out in Revelation chapter number 13. And there are many things that has to happen before that. So if you are pre-tribulation rapture believers, you don't even have to have one care in the world whether this vaccine is the mark of the beast or not. Because if it is the mark of the beast, then you are in trouble with the belief of your doctrine. If you know your Bible, if you know the word, you know the word of God, you know the doctrine, you know, but wait, this cannot be because I shouldn't be here. If you are here, then there's a problem. It might have meant that you have missed the rapture and then taking the vaccination or a chip or whatever it might be or anything is necessary or anything is not necessary anything we need to be worried about because it will be raptured but i do not say that it is not the system and we'll touch on that right now number two according to scripture the mark of the beast seems to be something that people will make a conscious choice to take not something that they'll be tricked or duped or deceived into taking without knowing it you see the scripture is clear that those who take it they know who their worship is going to and who their allegiance is we see if we look in revelation chapter number 20 verse number four we see i also saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness of jesus and for the word of god and who had not worshipped the beast or its image nor had accepted its mark on their foreheads or hands he says who has worshipped the beast so those who accept the mark of the beast is because of their worship and their allegiance to the beast Worship is a willful allegiance. Worship cannot be forced. Nobody can be forced in a church to give their worship to God. Even God cannot force somebody to worship Him. The beast cannot force somebody to worship Him. Worship will come as an allegiance out of the heart. If you're not doing any of that, you don't have anything to worry about. Let's get into number three. There is a sovereign timeline that goes according to scripture, a prophetic timeline. You see, the Bible says in order for the mark of the beast to take place in the worship of the Antichrist, that the Antichrist must first be revealed. And there's a major sign that will happen when it comes to the revealing of the Antichrist. And I want you to understand that, that one of those major signs that scripture speaks about is the abomination of the desolation in the temple. And as the time of the recording of this video right now, as I'm speaking to you, there has not even been yet built or erected a temple in the Holy Land. And therefore, we don't have to worry about whether it's the mark of the beast or the Antichrist even exposing himself. Nobody even knows whether the Antichrist is alive. It is highly likely that he is also alive. We don't know about God's timetable. We can only assess by the signs of the times. And I want to encourage you. I did a video on uh, 10 indicators as to whether we are close to the mark of the beast, close to this end of the age. And you can look at this by clicking on the link that is coming up right now that refers to this video. And watch this later on 10 signs. And there we speak about digital uh, money. We're speaking about a cashless society. We're speaking about global travel, global knowledge, incredible, incredible uh, piece of video that will really encourage you and give you a passion to tell you we are at the end of the age so we can win the loss at any cost. Now, let's get to number four, that according to scripture, it is an actual mark or an imprint or a stamped image. And even as I read the scripture, it's speaking of a type of tattoo that you'll be receiving. So it is not referring to a vaccination that will go into the blood. It's speaking of a specific imprint that is on top of your skin that can be seen and noticed by everybody around you. So I'm not saying it will not come from the vaccination initially. In my opinion, it will. Uh, in my opinion, this is a big stage setter, but I'm clarifying according to scripture that the vaccine is not the mark 
of the beast. My opinion, it can come out of this. But the Bible specifically says it is an actual imprint, a mark on you. I want you to look at this and what the Bible says. It says here, it is forced on all the people, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to be given a stamped image on their right hands or their foreheads. We can literally see it speaks of a, t a stamped, a imprint, engraving. And as I said, it's speaking of the word tattoo. It's bringing an image of a tattoo, something or a barcode or whatever it might be, whether it is just a number, but something that everybody will be able to notice. They'll be able to see whether you have it or not. And this will create a separation between the haves and the have nots. And this will bring the great divide that is to be played out in and during the tribulation. So again, you don't have to worry because the vaccine is not a mark that is on you at the moment of the recording of this video. It is not a mark that is on you, but it is going into your blood. It's no different from the other vaccines, and I'm not speaking from a medical point of view. I'm speaking from a biblical point of view. There is no biblical evidence anywhere of the mark of the beast to be some sort of chip or a vaccination that you may unknowingly take. Although my concerns is, prophetically as we look and by the developments as we see, is that they want to give you some type of a image or some type of a mark some type of a chip or some type of an app on your phone that will track and keep a status on you, a digital social status of your obedience and your compliance to the government and when it comes to the vaccination. And they are speaking even that it will show a mark on you so that people can know whether you are vaccinated or not. And we see this with contact tracing. We see this with all over that is beginning to happen on the phones. They'll, your phone notifies you as soon as you are close to somebody who is vaccinated. Number five, that the Bible says that the mark of the beast will determine those who will be able to buy and sell things. Notice what it says. It says you're fo it forced all people, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to be given a stamp image on the right hand on their forehead so that no one could buy or sell except one who had the stamped image of the beast's name for the numbers that stood for its name. Because in one view, because the vaccination more than likely goes into our bloodstream, nobody's able to see it like a chip or a tattoo, which means it doesn't stop us from buying or selling yet, and people cannot yet identify us fully. And the second view is, is that the vaccine will become a vaccine passport that is already on the way and in the making. It will become and get into a place of becoming a chip or in such a digital way that you will not be able to part with it. This will force you into being able to buy or not buy. It will force you not to be able to access into certain areas and it is moving to a cashless society. I want you to remember this one. Number six, our salvation is not determined whether we take the vaccination or not. It is about whether we have placed our faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. You see, the Bible says that those of us who are saved, Paul saying in that I'm convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of Christ in, in the Lord Jesus Christ. That seems very clear. Nothing in the future, no power, no government, no new world order, no principality, no authority, no governor, no municipality, no family. No one will be able to separate, no microchip. No vaccine will be able to separate us from the love of God. You see, I don't believe God is somebody that we're going to get to his throne one day and uh, we have worked for him in his name and he's going to say, aha, I got you, uh, you know, because you got the C-19 vaccination. I don't care how many souls you got saved. I don't care what you've done. I don't care where you've labored for me, where you've sacrificed. We've given up everything to serve me and to advance the kingdom. You didn't know you were taking this. So sorry, you can't get into heaven and uh, hell is your portion. I don't believe that. It is outside the character and the qualities of God. And I want to encourage you again to watch this video of ours, which speaks of the 10, 11 signs that is happening right now towards the end of the age. And even there, I'm speaking about digital gifting where we see NFTs and crypto coming in, and this we things we cannot ignore. So what are my personal and final thoughts on this? I personally believe, according to the scripture, and full faith in my heart, that the vaccine is not the mark of the beast. I do, however, believe it is the system being initiated and the stage being set for the Antichrist. I do believe it is pushing us towards a cashless society, which the scripture is clear will be happening in Revelation chapter number 13, that we cannot ignore the digital currency age we are going into. I do believe that we as believers, that we will be raptured way before the mark of the beast comes in. Hence, the time is really close because we've already seen all these signs coming in. I do believe the vaccination must be taken on the basis of thorough, 
personal medical research, freedom of conscience. And God leaves that up to each one of us to make up our minds on that. Because me and my family, we have done our medical research and we have made a decision and a certain decision by which we stand by. But in no way are we using this to judge others or to look down on others. I do believe the man mandatory vaccination is unbiblical, inhumane. It violates our freedom of rights, thought, conscience and religion. I believe the body of Christ should not be divided over this subject, but be united more than ever with a passionate mission to save the lost at any cost. And I want to ask you right now, if you've come to this point of the video, what are your thoughts? On the mark of the beast what is your thoughts on the 666 on the c19 vaccination do you believe in what i said right now do you believe this is a physical mark or a symbolic do you believe that the vaccine is the mark of the beast or not do you believe christians should take it and why do you believe they should take it or not take it let me know and secondly if you found this video helpful in any way if you found it informative i want to ask if you can share it with your friends your family as many people as you can and if you've enjoyed this time with us again i want to ask you subscribe to our youtube channel click the notification bell Give this video a like and a thumbs up and check out some of our other videos on this channel. Thank you so much for watching us and I'll see you soon. God bless you.